Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Minecraft Story Mode. Today we are doing episode 7. I have uh, I have pretty high hopes for this episode, so I'm a little worried because I don't want to, like, you know, have hopes way too high. But a lot, the last episode put the, put the bar pretty high, I'd say. For a one-off adventure, that one was, was pretty good. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they... Existed even before the Order of the Stone. Okay, that was not at all as cinematic as I was hoping it would be. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I was having a good time. I'm surprised uh, Ashley Johnson is never as much a, as a good time as we are, you know. This kind of thing seems like it'd be right up her alley. Lucas is the one who usually hates crazy. stuff like this. Why would there even be a fire world? <gasps> All right, it's a little awkward, but there you go. Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fireworld. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Come on, Petra. I know it's tough, but we're the Order of the Stone. We don't just give up. Ah! I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse, but they don't exactly get us any closer to home, do they? Uh, Lucas, I mean, not moving doesn't get us any closer to home. This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... there's a system. Ah! Uh, Petra, where are you going? may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. That would make sense. Least, it's gotta be better than... Fire world seems a bit flimsy 
And what if there's no smart people, huh? You think about that? Yeah. We could just find ourselves at another... Another psycho pumpkin mansion. Well, I'm willing to take that shot. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. I am? Whoa. Yes. Whoa. I don't want to say any of these. Don't even have anything to say in your defense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody calm down. Tempers are running kind of hot. Maybe we should just all say we're sorry. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being friendly. <laughs> Petra, do you really think that portal is the one we should go through? I do. And that's what we're going to do. Thanks, Jesse. I don't know why we would need to be so defensive, honestly. I get tired of somebody else calling the shots all the time, too. They got this new coconut Dr. Pepper. The, uh, the coconut is pretty strong. It's kind of just like pure coconut syrup, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah, that's kind of a cool biome. I think this is a mesa biome. Awesome. Man, you're right. I mean, all the sand and clay and everything. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? It's clearly a oh, journal. Uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkins place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. Don't beat yourself up, Petra. We've seen worse. Yeah. No one's on fire. No squids. No squids on fire. <laughs> Maybe you're right. No squids on fire. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. I mean... It looks like some sort of road. We're in a desert. Sand is kind of uh, going to write about normal. Your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on. Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? Ah, there are people here. Petra, wait. Petra? Shh, get down. What is it? Look. Whoa. The heck? Right? What in the world is that on the back of its head? I don't know anything more than you do, pal. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Oh, that's true. It is also daytime. Oh, and we're not, we're not, we've managed to speak so quietly, it's below human hearing. Okay, then. Why would we not help her out? She just asked us to help. This seems like a very, uh... Petra heavy uh, episode here. Good thing for me, Ashley Johnson is my hero and I'm getting destroyed by a zombie even though I hit the button. This, this episode seems to be falling apart right now. <laughs> I 
I don't super think strong zombies? Cetera. That was definitely... Okay, are we talking again? Nope, never mind. It was it was a brief moment of hope. I mean, none of those, obviously. Well, we're humming and grunting and all, and all that. So, God dang it! What is wrong with the voice lines? What on earth is that? We got it briefly. This is weird, and not just because we aren't talking. I think Lucas might be right. So? Oh, <laughs> well, we got part of it again. This, uh, this episode is very, uh, very broken so far. God, it's just, it's too much coconut. Like, if you're gonna make a coconut Dr. Pepper, you'd think you'd want it to be, like, a good blend. It seriously just tastes like a coconut soda. Like, it doesn't taste like coconut and Dr. Pepper, you know? It's so annoying. Sand and clay based. It's awesome. Come on, guys. Where there are buildings, there must be people. Let's find them and see if they can explain what's going on. Well, at least we're talking know again. Where the exit portal is, too. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone. I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah, I want to see those too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For yeah. science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Does seem uh, dangerous. Don't you think that looks a little dangerous? More dangerous for this zombie than for me. I think. <laughs> Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Told you it looked dangerous. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello. Do they also have a chip Hello? on the back of their head? Hello? Nope. Nothing for me either. I don't like this. Maybe his hearing is bad or something? It's a possibility. Uh, sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm going to go talk to him. More people have bad hearing okay, than you think. Just be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Is it talking time? I can't talk to you. Oh wait, I can't talk to you too. Guys, 
Jesse? How goes the surveying? Well, I'm mostly wondering why after seven episodes I'm still the only person who's doing anything. Don't know exactly what yet. I'll let you know if I find anything. Yeah, let's let's talk to Petra. Things tensions seem to be a little high with her today. Hey Petra, how's it going over here? Fine, I guess. Hey, uh, I, I know things got a little tense back there before, but are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. Of course. Uh, any interesting any theories? theories? About this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular, mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. I'm going to keep checking this place out. See ya. All right, then cool. We 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 fix things with her. So that's that's good. Are they also Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? That is kind of weird. Well, really really weird. Oh, there is a there is a person over here. Okay. Uh, hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use. I mean, Ooh. yeah, that makes sense. What? Huh? Conversation going in better on flows. We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the. Well, not even a scream. Yeah, they need More our help. Yelp! There is something very very wrong going on here. We need to help these people. But why? We could just find our exit portal. Leave this world behind us and pretend we never saw it. Because that's not like us, Ivor. That's what your old order would do. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. <laughs> he sounded like he had more to say there. Come on. Whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. <laughs> yes, yes. There you Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Uh, hi? Ah! That you, Hama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Hey, nobody sent me, okay? You really expect me to believe that? What kind of fool do you think I am? Honest, I have no idea who you are. I don't... You're telling the truth, aren't you? Okay. Uh, yeah. Eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh? What was your first clue? <laughs> it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you've met them, right? Uh, yeah, sort of. Outside. Uh, sort of? I talked to <laughs> Even outside. The Just the one? <laughs> yeah. I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They were your friends. Now we're gonna kill them all. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Okay, then. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Well, yeah. We're, we're at a still frame right now. Game is, uh, there we go. The internet dial up noise. I'm old, so I would know what that is. Yeah, we should probably follow that person's lead and get out of here. Why not jump out the window? You're right, this isn't our home. 
came here from someplace else. You have confirmed Palmer's suspicions. A decision has been made. Palmer has questions. Uh, Petra, we're not supposed to hurt them. You will come to Palmer. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? I'm sorry, but we were actually on our way out. Sorry, we've got to run. Would but... you look at the time? No need to show us the way out. <laughs> we're not into big goodbyes. Okay, okay, Jesse, calm down. Jesse, it's it's over, buddy. It's okay. You you can stop now, buddy. Jesse, please. No. Don't drag this on into the next scene. Thank you. Holy crap. Yeah, no, that that does not look look friendly this or good. Kind of friendly. Yeah, I'm guessing no on the friendly thing. Whatever it is, I think it's behind all this. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. All right we then. Much work ahead of us, uh, but maybe it can even be. Be straight to the point here. If you choose to cooperate, that is. What do you want with me and my friends? I am what you might call a computer, a thinking machine, designed to make things useful. I am okay. going to help you be useful. No thanks. I'm I'm all okay. tapped out on the whole I useful thing to the here. People of this town has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them. And they are connected to me. Well, as much as I loved hanging around and chatting, unfortunately, I think we have to get going. <laughs> yeah, but thanks for the tour and information and everything. That was super awesome. <laughs> Pomo, process that. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time. I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. Uh, I good like conclusion. To some questions to expand my data bank. How uh, did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of your knowledge. Thrilled, even. We walked here. Walked. Elaborate, please. It's, uh, when you use your feet to take you someplace? I mean, it's you not wrong. To be cute, but <laughs> so far, your performance in question answering has been inadequate. This makes me sad. Now I must use alternative methods to retrieve my new information. Jesse! Petra! Oh. What's going on with the, uh. What are they called? Dispensers? We could have just. I am going to make her useful. Oh, no, no, no. You don't, you don't touch Ashley Johnson. Although, I can delay this process if you have something useful to tell me. Hmm. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things or people to help. Until you arrive, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Maybe we can use the computer to find my world. Like this one, or completely different. It is a lot greener. A lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. Maybe it'll lead us home. Then we can kill the computer, and then we can go home. Well, that's not gonna be okay. However you entered this world, there must also be an exit. Where is it? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient, 
help them become useful. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for the portal out of here, too. Not that I've had much luck so far. If you find it, let us know, will you? This conversation was supposed to be about what you know, not about information I already have. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! Uh, what are they doing? No, no, no. I swear to God, if you touch Ashley Johnson, I'm gonna make sure you die, Pama. Or Pama, or whatever you call yourself. Hey! Alright, it's over for you, buddy. It's over. Now, Lucas, you can have. He's he's kind of on and off on the whole being useful thing. Oh, we are about to do a hard reboot. Let's go. Oh, Pama, you don't understand. When people make me angry, I punch them in the head. And I will punch you in your screen head chip thing, motherboard. Yes, yes, we use that, and then I metaphorically punch this thing in the in the head. I like this one. So we win right away, right? So that's it? We just win? We're not leaving without Petra and Lucas. An excellent idea. It is time to join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run! Oh, come on, I don't want to leave them behind. Oh, God. I was not ready for quick time events. I guess at least we got Ivor. They didn't take both of the fun ones. Uh, okay, that's that's enough of that. The, the, guys, please calm down. Please stop. Oh my god, this episode might be the most broken yet.
Oh, I... Oh, are we... What, what's happening? Where's crown? Throw ender pearls. These. Excellent, Jesse. Now we just need to throw them in the right spot. As soon as they land, your running makes me sad. Ah! Whoa! Why is that always so disoriented? Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. You better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! How did she get down here, though? Oh. Yep. The game is really, really trying right now. Oh, man. The game is really trying. I'm trying to stay positive about it, but holy crap, this episode is so broken. Whoa! A signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Yeah, what about our friends? Machines got our friends. I still might be able to save them, but I really need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret land. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the Where's the lab? Throw them off our trail. Uh, it's just desert out here. I don't see any secret lab. Wouldn't be there a secret if you did see it, now would it? Well, I'm just asking you to tell me where it's at. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? This poor episode, dude. It's trying so hard. She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. like an exact copy except you know it looks nothing or like what's behind it seems just a little off whatever this big difference you're trying to spot is please do it quickly because i think oh, i wasn't looking might be coming back. oh there's one extra cactus right there Lines work again, which is sick. That must be a pain to set up over and over and over. Did she get a hold of sea lantern in this, in this desert biome? Looks like Bubba's showing everything it's got at us. Just one after the other. Such wastefulness. You think that since Palm is controlling these things, they'd be a little smarter, but they're just splatting straight to their doom. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. There. Look at that. It's back to being just a normal zombie. 
So all it takes is water. Water must have busted the connection or something, like washing away the redstone, which means Palmer's control can be broken after all. That's it, though. It just takes water. How long has this lady been fighting this thing? Once a zombie, always a zombie. Alright, well, as soon as the uh, game decides to catch up with your audio, maybe. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. Just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Shouldn't we have told Ivor first, maybe? Oh, never mind. He got up. That seems like a pain to set up over and over and over, though. How often does she use this entrance? Should do the trick. Let's see about the secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at the secret lab. Blah! Palmas completely ruined the word useful for me now. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palmas chips seems super useful. To see you are maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying. It does her. seem a little infatuated, doesn't it? Considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Intriguing, Ivor. Why, whatever do you mean by that? I what? It's nothing. I just mean that I can empathize when it comes to your creations getting out of hand. Nothing. That's fair. Yeah, because you did kind of cause the whole... That sputtering, you'll swallow your beard. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is I. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palmer's forces right to my secret lab. What do you mean? Me, you I'm led them here. Computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palmer would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. If we were, why would we tell you? The first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little... Anxious. Whoa, you know about the hallway? <laughs> the hallway? That's what you've been calling it? <laughs> yes, maybe. What do you know about it anyway? A lot, I should think. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something to stop Pama? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why so not? we have to make one. I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. The only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Barren, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Palma wants. I mean, talking at all for this episode so, would be, Palma, you know, a plus. It? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient. 
use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Pama decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. Well, that does seem like a bit of a screw-up. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. When we were back in town, Palma seemed to really want to capture you. What was up with that? When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. Okay, that's definitely scary, but we're not just gonna leave my friends chipped up, though, right? You can still help them? I do think I can help you. With, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're gonna need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's... complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up... <laughs> Ivor looks in. so happy. And when Ivor is happy, I'm laughing. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, Grand Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. <laughs> Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. I, I can understand that. Oh, we are. There we go. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow. What? A builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. Sweet, so you know about the water. Or you don't. Oh, and I guess your weakness, or our weakness now, is just not talking again. Once this water got onto here, its weakness to it water, it started eliminating Alrighty then. Oh no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time! Does she not know that you can make an infinite water source? I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. Come on, Petra, snap out of it. It's me. There is no Petra. Oh. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know please. all your moves now, Jesse. Oh, you don't know all of them. And I know my console's moves at the moment are just not loading the game at some points. There. That seemed like it could have been really cool. Hit is struggling through this part. Wait, do we get a choice here? I'm so sorry that <laughs> you know. You already know. Alright, so they got Harper, but we got Ashley Johnson, so like... I guess we do need Harper back to go the way out of here, don't we? Uh, 
That was a whole lot of breathing for a whole lot of not moving your mouth. Harper and Lucas? Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty awful, but I'll get over it. Thanks Let's go. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? Uh, she may yeah, have come across builder. like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down and <sighs> save her. Too much people. coconut. And that will hopefully free Lucas, too. Whoa. Is it puzzle time? Before I think it's abducted, puzzle Harper time. Gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. I can't blame her for losing some of her marbles. Not under these circumstances. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. <laughs> right now, we need to focus All right, on then. finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. Okay, then. Uh... Yeah, let, I mean, let's talk to Ashley Johnson again. Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. You'd be surprised, honestly. Oh, like, it was kind of like that. Petra, you're one of my best friends. Of course I was going to rescue you. And I'm appreciative. Believe me. I just really hope we get back to Lucas soon. Yeah, we, we will. We'll, we'll get Lucas, too. There's Ivor. Come here, buddy. Let's have a talk. So what do you think of Harper's lab? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. Oh, good point. We got a book here. Let's pick it up and read it. The Redstone Heart? By Soren? Whoa. Either that name is a coincidence or... <laughs> wow. Huh. So, was there a Soren book to find in the last world then? Because we found one in uh, the Skyblock world, didn't we? The game does seem to be building up his uh, return. Alrighty then. Do we want to push this? Hello, Harper. It's Margaret. So good to see you. <laughs> Hope you've been well. You've got to melt that ice around your heart and forgive yourself. You're not the one to blame. Oh, yeah. She probably does blame herself for, like, basically ending her own world. Hadn't thought about it that way. Let's find out which one this one is. Good morning, Archer. Do not let yourself feel guilty. guilty. You it are always a sovereign in the desert. And bring joy to those who have none. Okay. Okay, we're not going to do that just yet. I want to see what this one says. Because this one's awesome missing something. Wonderful to see you 
to you, you've always been like a bright beacon, a torch of hope to this world's citizens. Greater than all the world's redstone, you made all our lives better. Dang, she must really blame herself for the crap that happened then. So we need a torch. And talk to you again. Hey, did you hear these fake friends Harper's got set up? Yes. I feel sorry that she was so alone. She felt like that's what she had to do. Reminds me a little of Sora. Yeah, you're right. Well, that's why it's good we're here to help. Weird. We are we ever going to see Soren again? Because they seem to be like really, uh, really like uh, leaning in on that, you know. Any thoughts? We should keep looking, Jesse. If what you said is true, we don't have a lot of time. Okay, I need a torch. They look so happy. Prototype Autonomous Management Agent. Ah, so that's what Palma means. I got a mosquito bite on my leg. It's starting to hurt. Do I should just go ahead and place the rose? Maybe that unlocks it so we make the torch. I just, I know this one needs a torch. I was thinking maybe it's something extra that we get to do. Or like, I don't know. Basically, if this... Here like, pushes us to the next area. I'm going to be a little upset. Nice. Looks like I'm on the right track. Okay, so we still need the torch. Okay, so it wasn't something extra to find. Also, like, Petra literally just said we need to hurry up, but then, like... She's kind of just standing here, so, uh... Maybe let's hurry up? These might come in handy. Awesome! Oh, sick. I was expecting stuff for a torch, was not expecting stuff for TNT. Nice. One redstone torch. And hopefully one step closer to getting that headset. There we go. Put it on. We're going into the metaverse with this one. Here we go. Whoa. Well, what's going on, Jesse? Is it working? I'm starting oh. to see something. Oh, I can control mobs. There? You're not going to believe this, but I'm a zombie. Oh, you're too hard on yourself. <laughs> I'm controlling a zombie like, from the inside. It's like some sort of mob. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. <laughs> Remarkable. Is possible. I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable. Sure, you'll figure it out, but my guess is it's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. So we control so Lucas into here, and then we unship him. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. Don't forget about Lucas, too. I need to try to save both of them. That's a great plan. I just hope they're not too far from your current location. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. That's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Can 
can I talk to the... I don't know if I want to do that, because it's being controlled by, uh... Pama, right? I don't want to give away my position table. right away, you know? Stairs to get me up there. If I can find the right crafting materials, that is. Hmm, it looks like slim pickings around here. Huh, clay. Unfortunately, I can't get it without a pickaxe, so it's pretty much useless. Right, okay. Uh... to build some new stairs to get up there fast. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. I can. Okay. Wouldn't this just be the weirdest sight if you were playing Minecraft and a zombie was just digging sand? Ugh, I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. Not to mention that it's coarse and it's rough. Holy crap. I was digging for a while. Huh. Let's see what I can craft. I guess red sand is different. But I'm just gonna do the, the general stair shape and hope it works out. Nope, that didn't work. Okay then. They are getting closer. I wonder why it was this zombie in particular that the headset hooked up to. This would be a little less weird if the uh, game would play it, but it's fine. We can wait. Oh god, still too much coconut. Pama? Pama? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do, don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay. Let Harper and Lucas go, Pama. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go! For all of us My cyber team up. will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. Invalid, what do you mean? Holy cow, this is taking a while, isn't it? Okay, can I actually have like a chance to figure out what the heck is going on? <laughs> Holy crap. This game is breaking so hard. Oh, I can switch between them. Okay. I don't know why that was so finicky the first time, but holy crap. This episode's having a tough time.
Alright, not all at once, guys. Come on. Goodness gracious. I don't I really hope this is just my Xbox 360, because this if if this is how this runs on a regular basis, this is pretty uh pretty atrocious. This feels like it should be a lot more climactic than it actually is. My creator, Sorry, Marty, but I am so me. glad you are here, Harper. Harper. Uh, okay. Goodness gracious, this... It is having a tough time, isn't it? Come on, game. I believe in you. Come on, please. Game over, <laughs> Well, we didn't get to hear it, but I think Petra liked it. Well, this sucks. I'm sure this is a time-based choice and I probably just failed. <sighs> Come on, game, please. <laughs> Why are some of them invalid? Goodness gracious, please. <laughs> I don't know why we're still like pulling at her. Nobody's getting chipped today. Not if I have anything to do with it. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Do a little dance. <laughs> that was the same dance that Lee does in that little uh Deleted ending video for The Walking Dead. This feels like it should be a lot cooler than it actually is. <laughs> oh man, I can deal with the voice lines breaking or the game just having a hard time loading stuff, but man, when it when it's both happening at the same time, it, it it's a rough experience. Oh, we got a hint of a voice line. Oh, 
All right, well. Okay. Jesus, this this is really sad. I really wish the voice lines were working, dude. Harper showed me and told me that we need. Hey, he's talking Heart. again. Redstone Heart. Whoa, that just brought back a, a flash. Uh, those red lights I mentioned before? Uh, there are three of them. Redstone spires. And, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's... that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect. Thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires? Or whatever we're looking for? Well, I mean, yeah, water is pretty much the uh, go-to answer. Before, but Palma stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse. Cool. Well, we got voice lines back, so I feel pretty good about that. Okay, no more coconut Dr. Pepper for me. That crap was not good. I mean, it was okay. They just... Yeah, I don't know. Too much coconut. Still. Grab some potions. These are my left. Oh, yeah. I held up in motion after our scum. These might come. Okay. Good explanation. Um, we'll definitely want the TNT. Maybe if we end up fighting Harper, we can distract her with the flower. Isn't that the flower that I had to give to Harry back in the lab? What? I thought maybe Harper might want it back. Or maybe I could keep it. Yeah, you can <laughs> I keep it. Her. I can't think of any way for it to help us here. Oh, okay. Uh, grab the redstone, maybe? With a lever, of course. The last two things we have left. Oh, a button. Never mind. We've got TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom! Path cleared. That's great and all, but... How are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? Well, I think the... You do the trick. Yeah, the choice is clear, Ashley Johnson. Quickly now! I'm clearly going to go 
with the po with the the, the potion of leaping. <laughs> Dang it, and that... Okay, there we go. Wait, what was he saying? I don't even need the redstone? Oh, this music's playing. You know it's gonna be good. Oh, the music stopped. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can just throw it down. Sick. Okay, the music's having a hard time keeping up with me. <laughs> this feels like this, be, this. I really feel like this should be so much cooler. And it's just not. <laughs> There's so many sounds that aren't playing at the right time. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Oh, we broke the voice lines again. Oh, they made it through. Sick. Yeah, you should let them know that Pama is on to us. If the game can keep up. Okay, but where's Lucas? It's like the game really didn't want to process having the person you didn't choose show up. Oh! I think that was left over from before. <laughs> Those are some delayed explosions. I believe in you guys. Give that new Jesse, because this won't work. Oh, all right. So, uh, I didn't think an episode could be more broken than episode four, but uh, here we are. <laughs> Oh? What is happening? Alrighty then. That was absolutely bizarre. Please load in with the voice lines this time, please. I'm asking nicely. Well, I got louder. Don't even have voice lines from the get-go here. No, 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 no. I, of course, have been expecting you. Though, I will admit, I am surprised how quickly you gave access. My defenses are significant. Your resistance to me is illogical. Yikes. Come on, game. I didn't come here to talk.
Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward. Out of simple curiosity, how exactly did you plan to deactivate me? Why would I tell you now that? that you understand your mission is a futile one. Yeah, he's concerned. We he knows we beat him. He knows. He's got he knows that we won. He's nervous. You can see that computer sweating. I don't have time for this. All right, game. Some sound effects we can't play at all and some of them we just play over and over and over. Well, that wasn't really polished, was it? Goodness gracious. You are too insignificant to worry me. I can't tell if that's supposed to be playing over and over or if it's not, but I'm gonna guess that that shouldn't be playing over and over. Spider won't like this either, right? Don't have time to talk. This is getting sad. <laughs> You're right. This has been sad. Never tell me the odds. It it actually loaded in time this time. I think I just won, didn't I? Oh, there he is. Figured he'd be involved in this big battle here. <sighs> We've got company. Why did I think this would be easy? Your friend is tough. You sure you can handle them? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail. 
Just as you have failed to save Ruben. Oh, no, you don't. You will fail to defeat you, you can. You can make fun of me, chip my friends, but you don't make fun of my of my my pet Reuben pig thing. It was sounded a lot cooler before I said it out loud. Dude, why doesn't Harper do literally anything? No time to spare. I gotta get to that heart. So is she just gonna sit there and watch, or does she actually want to help out? that thing out of where it came from more so help me there we go why don't we just rip the whole thing out A lot of things going on with the voice lines, but you know what? They're playing, so that's that's good. I'll get the game points for that. Unfortunately for you, your usefulness. Oh, that's exactly what I want to say. You're useless. That's what happens when you mess with my Ashley Johnson. No way, he's actually I dead. Saved you. I should have saved you. Well, I still had the chance. Oh. Hey, Jesse. What are you apologizing for this time? He's <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's gonna say no way. Oh, just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I am so sorry. All I could hear was Palma's voice, you know, telling me what to do. Just happy you're okay. I know that must have been tough, Jesse. But I know you'll never let me down. 
It's something else, isn't it? Oh, and this the voice lines broke again. Heart. Oh, they're back. And dangerous too, right? I mean, if it was inside a Pama, then it's gotta be bad. Yeah, probably. Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Ah. Uh, but if it powered this thing. the better I'm gonna I'm gonna stay firm in my belief I still think it's dangerous I still feel like this thing might be dangerous no matter what Harper says Jesse trust me the redstone heart isn't dangerous it isn't safe it just is a neutral object a neutral object that can get you home I'm ready to leave this core behind the whole town will be waking up we should be there to say hello plus this place gives me the creeps so, let's go? <laughs> Why are we still standing here? <laughs> what the heck was Ivor doing there? We did it. Ah, to be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling. To suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. Well, they look happy. It's you! You're the one who saved us! How would you know who that? Are you? you fought so bravely. All of you. You guys are awesome! I don't know if we can ever thank you enough. Well, I'm Jesse, and we're the Order of the Stone. Boom! We walk the worlds, seeking adventure and doing good deeds. I didn't want to say we weren't special, because, like, thank I don't know. You. We owe you everything. You're right. The other people Jesse in this group are special. Order really are heroes. We couldn't have done any of this without them. I mean, look at Ivor. Is that you? Um, yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry. Like, from the lab. You you didn't do this to us, did you? you I mean, she did. didn't, not necessarily. Well, I mean, hey, it's, it's complicated. You have to understand Our that... home's destroyed. You don't understand. Harper helped defeat Pama, too. We couldn't have done it without her. So what, we're just supposed to forgive her now? No. I mean I don't think so. Harper's kinda not really, sort of. Are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Do we just rebuild and forget about what happened? Whatever you decide to do, Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I I will? Yeah. She will? Yeah. It's not like she was having fun the whole time. Yes, yes I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back, help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Uh-oh. Worth a shot, I guess. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. They'll be fine. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. It's kind of like WandaVision, but also not really, because it's like if WandaVision, like if, if Wanda was also having a bad time during the whole thing, you know? I'm gonna ignite it again? Okay. Oh, she's actually going to go through the portal with us. Okay. Aw. That moment would have been really sweet and sincere yeah, Patrick, if the voice lines had played. 
All right. Well, they kind of played there at the end, so sure. Wouldn't be episode 7 if it didn't break one more time on the way out, right? Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? This hallway is still pretty creepy, but I'm just glad we're going home. I know, right? <laughs> I've been loving adventuring and learning things, but it would be nice to do it on our own world for a while. <laughs> now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this Atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh... Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. So wait, you can't get us home? Okay, okay, no. I might not be able to get you home, but I do know where to get the Atlas. Don't you- And that'll get us home. Just go right in, ask for the Atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny, whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. Wait, why put the heart inside of a computer, though? you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? <laughs> Even Ivor's not sure with the game breaking as bad as it is. Goodness gracious. Okay, that was episode 7. Holy crap, that was a broken experience. Let's read off some choices. In the in the portal hallway, 13.7% of players made Petra angry. I was part of the 86% that did not. 50.8% of people were uncooperative with Pama. I don't know what that means. I don't think I was cooperative. This is like, a, I think during the intro sequence when like you meet him for the first time. I don't think I was cooperative, but I also didn't like withhold information either. I don't I don't know which side of that I would fall into. 70% of people unchipped Petra, of course they did. I mean, come on. Lucas is great and all, but it's Ashley Johnson. 19.3% chose the leap in potion. That one was actually pretty cool. Um 33% chose the invisibility potion. A majority of people chose the swiftness potion. 47% of people but I'm guessing you have to not use that in the skyblock to have it here. 75% of people defended Harper. 25% of people did not defend Harper. And that's it. Even without all the bugs and all the glitches that I was experiencing, I don't think I liked that one as well as I did the previous episode. I like the premise of it. I kind of wish we had more of a reason to dislike the computer. I don't know. I, I kind of wish they would have played more into the drama of one of your friends being chipped. Like, the most interesting part of that story to me was having one of your own be chipped and, like, against you. I kind of wish they'd played more into that, but really all you do is make a choice to free one of them about halfway through, and then after that, it doesn't really come up again until the end. Uh, feels kind of like a missed opportunity there, but it was still not bad. Obviously, a ton of bugs on this episode. I don't know if that was this episode's problem where just my xbox for some reason was having a really tough time with this one but that's it for now so i'll see you guys tomorrow when i come back for the final episode of minecraft story mode bye